Hi, I'm Lynn from the Jarbon Orbery YouTube channel, and today I'm going to build this modern lighting fixture uh, using walnut, aluminum, and 10 watt LEDs. So, here's the concept of this project. I'm trying to design a really modern, high end lighting fixture using high powered LEDs. This is the old light hanging above the counter. Both the high temperature and the warm color were not really appropriate for the space. These are halogens and they get quite hot, so LEDs will be much cooler, visually and temperature-wise. So first of all we need the box, starting with milling up some walnut, cutting miters for the corners. So at the bottom of the box I'm going to use polycarbonate panels. First, I need to cut some grooves in the wood so the plastic has somewhere to go. Here's the polycarbonate, cutting it on the table saw. And uh, here's the wood and the plastic, all cut up. Now, in order to achieve a more diffuse surface, I'm first taking off the plastic and then I'm sanding it with fine sandpaper. And this works quite nicely to create that frosty impression. Now the main structure of this fixture is the aluminum, so first I need short pieces to connect the wood together, and then between those a long aluminum bar fits which holds the LEDs. So I'm starting with cutting up some 1.5 inch aluminum bars on the bandsaw, and then drilling holes in it with the drill press. This unit will hang on two stainless steel rods connected to the aluminum. So I need holes for those as well, through the long centerpiece. Doing some testing here to make sure everything fits. So I have brackets on the sides, and I'm ready to attach the shorter aluminum pieces. I drilled the holes extra wide, which makes it easier to fit everything in, since this wood had some tension in it. Then I have the long piece of aluminum, and I've marked out where the lights are going to go. Now those holes line up, so I can attach the long piece to the shorter ones and then I can slip in the rods in the larger hole in the middle here. And they will carry the weight of the whole fixture. Now for the inside of the box, I'm going to put on lights, heat sinks, a booster, a switch, wires, and an Adafruit trinket to operate this whole unit. So let's lay it out. First I got some really big heat sinks to disperse the heat from the LEDs. I'm also positioning the booster. So I need to drill some holes so I can attach the booster to the aluminum with some screws. Cleaning up the burrs with a file and screwing the booster in place. Next I need to cut the plexiglass in shorter pieces and that's because the piece I bought wasn't long enough to go all across. So with three lights I decided to have three windows of glass if you may. Then I need to drill a hole in the wood for a switch, so I can turn the device on or off. Securing that with a nut. Another thing to do here is to glue the LEDs onto the aluminum with some thermal adhesive. Then adding some wood to provide clamping pressure. Now let's go over the electronics and how this all will connect. Okay, so we have a 20 volt AC-DC adapter branching off to a 10k potentiometer switch. That connects to a booster which brings the 20 volt up to 30 volt, which is required for the LEDs. Simultaneously we have a DC to DC step down board, which brings the power down from 20 volt to 5 volt. And that's to power the Adafruit trinket, which is running Arduino code for the dimmer. Then we have a TIP31 transistor, which does the switching for the trinket, and all of that is connected to the 10 watt LEDs. And uh, this is the Arduino code to control the switching so I can dim the lights. To step down the voltage to 5 volts to power the trinket, I actually took apart this USB outlet for automobiles. It has a DC to DC step down board inside, which came in handy here. So I soldered the leads to that. I'm using a circuit board to organize all the wires and components, and here I'm just drilling holes in it so I can attach it to the wood later. So basically I'm trying to lay out all the parts, very much like the diagram I made. I'm connecting the trinket using header pins to the board. 
and uh, here I'm soldering the wires to the lights. Here you can see the whole setup with the board connected to the booster on the left. The booster and the potentiometer are separately connected because of the design. Now we have everything ready, and it's just a matter of putting everything together. So let's start from scratch. Screwing in the brackets, putting in the short aluminum pieces. Then let's screw the board on to the inside of the fixture, and I'm putting it right next to where the switch will go. Also, I'm putting brackets on the mitered corners. Then putting the switch in, and securing it with a washer and a nut. Screwing down the booster, connecting the corners together. And I'm doing this as opposed to gluing the corners, so I can have access if I ever need to get in and replace a light or something like that. Attaching the wires to the booster. Attaching the aluminum to the shorter pieces and securing with nuts. Then putting in the plug, and I'm going to hot glue that in. Finally putting in the polycarbonate pieces, just sliding those in the grooves. Here's the underside. And uh, you can see these little walnut blocks I'm going to attach right on those seams. So let's try it out. Okay. Looks uh, pretty cool on the inside too. Then uh, just attaching the rods and uh, securing those with some nuts. I've got some hollow aluminum tube that I'm cutting up and this is to put over the rods just to continue the look. I also have a solid half inch aluminum rod which I drilled a hole in that I'm cutting up. And this is going to the switch to act as a knob and that needs to be epoxied in. And here you can see the inside. To uh, finish the wood, I decided to simply go with tongue oil polish that I make. And uh, this is just to bring out the color of the wood. Now to hang the fixture, I decided to make some metal brackets that you can see here. So first I drilled a hole, and then I'm making a groove from that on the bandsaw. Then putting the metal in a vise, and banging it down on both sides. Then simply screwing one side into the ceiling and securing the fixture with nuts on either side of the rod. So for this project I wanted to use these high powered LED bulbs. And I've used them once before when building my third hand task lamp and that has a bit more of an industrial design. Uh, but for this I wanted to create more of a higher end lighting fixture kind of feel. And then I used uh, my favorite combination which is walnut and aluminum. And I really like how the walnut kind of provides some nice warmth whereas the aluminum breaks that off and provides that contrast so I really like that. Now the reason I wanted to use these LEDs is because first of all they are very bright and then they don't require that much power but also they're so physically small so you can fit them in places which you wouldn't be able to fit traditional light bulbs in and thereby creating you know some unique creative designs which uh, is really interesting. Um, now for the PWM dimmer here I'm using an Adafruit trinket and um, that's running Arduino based code. And I really think that for these kinds of bulbs, it's really nice to have a dimmer because they are so bright, so it's nice to be able to bring that light level down a little bit. I also kind of like how this almost has more of a craftsman style design from the underneath with these blocks. Um, I like that, so it's a bit modern, but it has that kind of element to it as well. Uh, so yeah, my name is Lynn. Don't forget to check out my YouTube channel, uh, Darwin Orver, where you can find uh, woodworking and electronics related projects. Uh, otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye. If you liked this video, subscribe to our channel or send us a comment on Facebook or Twitter. Be sure to check out our other project videos or visit us on makezine.com.